What's going on guys, Chris Rodnick here, and today, now that it is light out, now that you can actually see, I want to show you how shitty this trampoline is, and I want to give you a little update on this pool here, so we started filling it up with water, and everyone was telling me, hey, stop, let's just hire someone to bring some water here, so I'm like, alright, we'll stop, we can put some sand over there, we can make this actually level and even everything will be good I'll call a guy a couple hundred bucks whatever well I ended up calling a place and it's over a thousand dollars so that's definitely not happening we have to fill it with the goddamn hose the dude said it's normal for you just to fill it up by yourself it usually takes a day or two to fill up and yeah this is what I'm currently looking at it sucks that this trees right here because all like the little pine dicks are gonna fall down in the pool and we have this thing Right here, dang man, I need to mow this lawn. I need the tractor ASAP. But anyways, I wanted to show you how shitty this trampoline is because I want you guys to waste $200 like I did on this goddamn trampoline. So I'm gonna try to set this up. Here we go. I hope you can see me. So, this is me trying here. Jumping as high as I can. No, oh, It's very hard. It's like you have to like actually try it. I wanted the trampolines just to bounce around and just be able to flip like nothing, but this you have to force. Ah! I'm over it. So I don't know if you saw that, but I don't like trampoline. I don't know. I don't know if you have to break trampolines in, but I'm like, it's not fun enough to be able to break it in because barely fucking bounces. Anyways, moving on. Hey, buddy. Hey, dude. What's going on, man? All right, whatever, funky too. Today, I don't really feel like driving a car. I don't feel like doing any of that. You know, I feel a little active today. You know what I mean? Eight miles to the shop. I'm gonna take good old trusty reliable over here. She never left me stranded yet. And um, I'm gonna see how long it takes me to ride eight miles. The time is now 4.15, if you can see that right there. And I'm pissed because I forgot the headphones at my shop and I'm just gonna go without music. So let's hit it. Okay, so now that we're at the shop, it's time to bring the good old ruckus out. Had this thing for a few weeks now, and I've been waiting on some sponsorships, but... So, I don't even know how far I am, but let me tell you, Florida's a lot harder than Connecticut, man. You don't really notice it until you try to ride your bike eight miles, but I don't know, I think I've covered like two miles already, so it's not bad. It's, I'm a little sweaty. My knees hurt a little bit, but it's going good. Let's keep riding. All right, so we kind of made it. Three minutes away from the shop. I want to stop at some Jamba Juice. The time is five o'clock right here. So not bad, I get some smoothies. I'll be on my way again. Just drank my smoothie on the way to AutoZone. And now we are here. Got to order a part, should be here in two days for the Civic, sick. Well, after a smoothie run and an AutoZone run, it's 527. Honestly, I'd say I probably did in like 50 minutes, but I had to stop at all those places, so. We're here now, and I'm all sweating, fuck. Okay, so now that we're at the shop, it's time to bring the good old ruckus out. Had this thing for a few weeks now, and I've been waiting on some sponsorships, but Jack claims that he can make this thing go 50 miles per hour. So, this is a 49cc. This thing goes about around 32 miles per hour. I'm gonna go over to HP Logic, and Jack is gonna help me work on this thing, because honestly, I've never really fucked with these, so I'm very curious of what we are gonna do today. All right, so we're over here at HP now, and Jack, he has his V-Box set up to my ruckus, and we want to see how fast we can get 0 to 30 bone stock. What are you thinking? I mean, I don't know. I, I thought I could do it in, like, <laughs> 6 or 7 seconds, but... I just took it around the block, and I swear to God, I'm, I'm going for 14, 15 seconds. That's crazy. 14, 15 seconds. If what? It, if it takes 15 seconds for this <laughs> thing to get to 30... Yeah. We're gonna drop two or three seconds at least off. Really? Of that. Yeah. So what's the goal for today with this? I mean, let's. I want to at least drop a second off of your zero to thirty. At least at drop a least second. At least a second. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go next door. I'm gonna run a zero to thirty run. I kind of want to run two. One with me running aside it, and one with me just bogging it out. You do whatever your little heart. Can. Okay, I'm gonna screenshot. The first one's gonna be legit. The second one, I'm gonna cheat. All right. All right. So here we go, I'm gonna put on the GoPro. Wish me luck, because this is gonna be a dangerous run. Oh, my zero to 30 runs weren't really quite accurate because this thing's acting up, right? Jack and I, um, when I got this, we fixed the carburetor, everything was good, everything was fine in the neighborhood, you know, I was going, cruising 35. Alex was supposed to ride it and try to hit 35 miles per hour as well. Well, ever since then, it was kind of like not really starting, it was starting up rough, it wanted to like die out, and now, 
me and Jack are working on this. One, the brand new battery just died out of nowhere. So we thought it was the stator, yeah. the stator inside the engine. So we took a multimeter and we tested it and it is charging the battery. So that just randomly died. I don't really know how because no one's like, no one rode this thing. The key wasn't even in it. I don't, I don't know. But now, Jack, what's going on? Tell me. It's not getting fuel. It's not getting any fuel to the carburetor. So that means the fuel pump's dead. So we, we tested the fuel pump and it is not pumping fuel to the carburetor, which means the fuel pump is fucked. Which now Jack wants to make a fuel tank out of a Coke bottle. Yes. Is and that really what you're doing right now? Yep. You're cleaning the Coke out of it? It's going to work, yes. It's going to work? Yeah, it's going to work. You're going to put a fuel pump in there? No. What? I'm confused. Gravity fed. It's going to, so what, I'm going to hold it? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tie, zip tie it to your frame. Come on. Stop yeah. it. This is, this is it? Alright, so next thing you'll see is a gravity fed gas tank with a coke bottle. I don't know. This, this is a new one for me too. So I'm just sitting here ordering a fuel pump online and I see Jack's got this fit coming out of the coke bottle. What the hell are you doing, dude? Taking you a fuel tank. Jack will do anything to get scooters from dead to alive, let me tell you. If a scooter is dead, Jack needs to fix it. Is that right, Jack? Even if he doesn't have the parts, he's gonna make some Coke bottle things. I mean, I bet you if the engine was blown, Jack would have a solution for it right now, which kind of scares me, but hey, if this thing, if we can just run a zero to 30 without any problems, I'll be happy for tonight. This is not a sponsored ad. Jack should have been part of Hag Garage when it was a thing. All right. We'll get this. Piece of hose, we'll be on the road in a minute. <laughs> Not sponsored by Coke, but if you want to, hit me up. So Jack, can you walk me through what happened here? Well, I'm gonna explain something to you. <laughs> Apparently this carburetor has a coolant line going through it, <laughs> which I thought was a fuel line. That's why I didn't think it was getting any gas. Yeah. So as we, we, we set this whole thing up, and as I'm filling, I'm like, Jack, Jack, something's leaking. Fucking gas is going into coolant. Gas is going into coolant. So now I have gas for coolant. Alright, now I'm gonna pull it. Now we can test the fuel pump. So, I mean, yeah. So this has got to be your fuel line then. Yeah, right? it has to be, right? Unless there's another coolant port. Oh, okay, well, it's off. So let's go ahead and... We're gonna start it up. Just, gonna, just turn the key on. And it's coming. Yeah, but look how... It's trickling. It's weak, huh? Yeah. Don't you think? Alright, well, it is coming out, but... That was kind of weak. I just ordered a fuel pump. Sick. <laughs> hey, at least we'll have extra, right? We're going to use this tank anyway. We're going <laughs> to try it out? Yeah. Well, we have to what? Like clog that one? Clog this up. Yeah. Okay. Or I can just run this up to here. <laughs> so it fills up. Oh, so it'd be the automatic filler. That's not a bad idea, dude. Right, I like that. that. Let's do that. This line is actually going to the fuel pump right now. And look how little it's trickling. Maybe it's just weak. Maybe. I don't you know? know? Because the gas tank is full, so there's no reason for it to be not be like fully right. submerged or anything. But Jack's contraction, contraction is working, right? Yeah. Seems to be going good. I mean, this is the best it's ever ran. I don't know how safe that is if you hit a bump or something. Pfft, volcano totally everywhere. Fine. So can I get I, my? I'm gonna put a little valve on this. Uh huh. Because you see what's happening right now? It's like slowly filling up. <laughs> Yeah, that's not good. Okay, so whatever reason, Jack made this Coca-Cola bottle thing. We ran it. It ran good. And we we're like, okay, well, it seems that the fuel pump's working because it's filling up the bottle pretty quickly. We put it back together. And now it runs. And it's working. And it works perfect. Zero to 30, go. Zero to 30. Let's run it before it breaks again. Here we go. All right, guys. So here we are. Zero to 30. Hopefully it works this time. In three, two, one, go. Alright, we're off boys. We're already going 12 miles per hour. Not bad. Halfway 20, 20. Do I see a 25? I do see a 25. Here we go. 30. Hell yeah. Not bad. 13 seconds. It took us 13 seconds to get to fucking. Oh man, that's bad. Alright, I'm gonna try to cheat it this time. Okay, so this time we're going to G. I'm going to hit start. I'm going to put it in my pocket here. 
We're gonna go for this in three, two, one, go. Here we go. All the way down. So I just went from my zero to 30. I have two numbers. You tell me which one's cheating and which one I did correctly. Okay. You ready? Yeah. 1323, 1299. I can't tell, they're too close. <laughs> what you're telling me is cheating didn't help. No, cheating did not help. It was actually the slower time. Wow. So the, fast, the fastest time that we got with this thing was 1299, zero to 30. Okay. Not bad, right? Let's get me 11s. I want you, what, what is that? Zero to thirty. That? Yes. You want to know what that zero? Yes. Is Not my fast one. No. If I tell you, you're gonna get really discouraged. No. Let's hear it. Two point five. Two point five. What's the fast one? In the ones. <laughs> and I'm running fucking twelves. I'm running twelves with this hoopty. Why do I have this thing? Let's make it fast. I'm discouraged. This is the beginning. This is the beginning. This, this is, is the baseline right here. This is the baseline. Fuck. <laughs> We're about to get you down at least into the 11s. Let's see. And then. You know what's so funny? Zero to 30. This runs 12 nines. My roadster can run a quarter mile at 12 three. And <laughs> that's a huge difference. We got to help this thing. It needs a lot of help. Let's help it. At least it runs right. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so I'm kind of a scooter noob when it comes to making them faster. What are you doing right now? First, we're gonna take the air box off out okay. of the way so we can get the CVT cover off. Do we even need the air box? I mean, yeah, you do right now because we don't have an intake. We don't have okay. like a filter. So to I have to on. order an intake. Yeah, we'll need a filter to go on here. All right. So but we're gonna after take- After that, then we won't need the intake. We won't need the box. And she's off. There we go. Why does that need a gasket if there's no fluid in there or yeah, anything? It's just moisture. They oh, try to keep okay. water from you yeah. here. But realistically, you want this vented anyway, so it like doesn't get super crazy hot. But for now... don't Some matter. people like cut this out exactly. so they can see that. Yeah. Does that help with speed or is that just for looks? Uh, it, it helps with temperature. It keeps your CBT from getting real hot. All right, so you're telling me you're going to drop this thing a second without changing anything? No, I'm, or? Not, I'm not going to touch the motor. We're okay. just going to use the transmission. All right. This is basically what controls your gear ratio. Okay. Okay, because this is a CVT. It's continuously variable transmission. The belt changes its positioning as you get speed. As you pick up speed, this pulley closes and the belt gets wider out on the pulley. And then in the back, as you get speed, this opens and the belt gets narrow, which increases your gear ratio yeah. as you go up. That's how it works. It tries to stay at, a, at, a, at the same RPM the whole time. That's the best you can do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the weights in the front pulley, which is the variator, and I'm going to make put lighter weights in there so that the RPM stays higher all the time. Okay. And that's going to give us more acceleration. Yeah, because the IP, RPMs are higher. Exactly. All right, let's see it. All right. Very good. Boss holds it. So these are the weights or rollers, whatever you want to call them, mm -hmm. and these are what we're going to be changing. Yep. So we're going to weigh these and see what they weigh. Yeah. These are probably, feels like about seven grams. Seven grams. You know grams now, huh? Let's see. <laughs> That's so funny. If no one knew Jack, they'd think he's a drug dealer. <laughs> the scale, dude. <laughs> you got a scale. <laughs> wow, Jack. Wow. You can't see that, but that's 7.1 grams. So, what are we putting? How many grams you, are you putting in? You can't short me. No. <laughs> you can't short me. Alright, so we're gonna put some lighter rollers in there. Jack's the roller dealer. That was a 7.0. Why was that one 0.1 gram there, less? Little, if I let it sit longer, it'll be... Dude, 6.9! Okay. What's going on here? It's just how this little scale works. It's not the best. It's Harbor Freight, okay? You got your drug scale from Harbor Freight? Yeah. <laughs> so, so there we go. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna go a full gram lighter. So we're gonna go down to a 6 gram. Okay and that's gonna give us more acceleration. Now, what RPM difference would that make or you don't know? Should be about a thousand. Okay. In fact, I think I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna go down even further. We're gonna go to 5.5 grams. Why couldn't you just put one gram in? Too light, it'll over rev, it'll okay. never shift out. Oh, all right. So what's the lightest you can go on like a stock transmission or whatever? Or well, CVT? Well, on a stock motor, it depends on the motor. If your oh. motor only revs to nine grand, then- Oh, and this has light. the governor too. Exactly. Oh so man, we're, we're in trouble. Gonna, we're gonna take it up close to that. 
Look at this guy. He's just got this like pouch full of rollers and stuff. Dude, these are, what's, let's see what these weigh. Six grams. That's good. It's one gram that's, that's, less. This is fine. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we'll put those in. Okay. So we're going one gram lighter on the rollers. Yep. Here we go. All right, guys. Well, she's ready to run tens, huh? I think so. You think tens? I don't think tens. Sick. That would be really sick. So we had a 12.99. Let's see what those rollers did. We went down one gram, so here we go. GoPro time. Guys, okay, so we're back in the test course now. Honestly, just driving it over here, I can already feel it has a little more acceleration. So we're gonna start in three, two, one, go. Here we go. You can hear it kind of revving higher too. Ouch! I'm gonna try that again. Here we go in three, two, one. A 16.8. Let's go tell Jack. Okay, Jack, are you ready to hear this number? Ready. Are you nervous? What do you think it ran? I know it went faster. You know it went faster? I know it went faster. All right, you ready? What, lay it on me. A 16.8. No. No, I swear to God. I'm so full of no, it. No, look. That was full balls of the wall. Jesus, let me ride this. <laughs> you, want, you want to go try it? Yeah. All right, here, you take this and you have fun. All right, let me, let me know what it runs. I'll tell you. Okay, here we go. 16.8, <laughs> dude. Tell he's bummed. He doesn't believe me. Here he comes. He's going really slow. Me. What do you mean? You're me. What do you mean I'm scamming you? You're a scammer. Why? What'd you run? 11. What? Is it because I'm fat? I can't. No, I don't think you're that fat. A couple pounds ain't gonna make that much. The gas, thing. dude. Ooh. The gas is making Ooh. us over here. <laughs> Let's change that real quick. We do have to change right. that. But I'm 11 too, dude. You ran 11. How, what is that? What did I do wrong? I don't know. Maybe it overheated while you were running or something. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. But let's fix that. We cleared out all the gas in the radiator. And now, so me and Jack, we're getting some different numbers. I'm running like 13, 14. He, he's running 11, 12s. That's crazy. I don't really know what's going on here. So what's, what's the next step right now? I'm going to try and open up the intake and see if it leans it out a little bit. Because you said it feels like it's like breaking up up yeah, top almost. Like maybe it felt like a little rich up top. So yeah. I'm take the filter off. And then, and then just run open carb. Yeah. We'll see what that does. Looks like we're gonna be doing another carb clean in the near future here. <laughs> maybe, maybe you can buy a new filter. It's a good thing you got that fuel pump coming. Yeah. Might as well just get a filter too. All right, Jack is back. What'd you run? You're not gonna believe me. <laughs> you think I'm cheating somehow? Yeah. I mean, what'd you run? Tell me. Ten three. I. Let me get on the thing. I need to get back on it. Is it faster now that the box is off? I think so, yeah. All right, that well, a little bit. I'm not going to film this one just because I have too many, like, riding footages. But I think we need to go lighter on the rollers. You think we need to go lighter? Let's do that first. Okay, let's do that, and then I'll take it for a test drive. Let's hit it. All right, guys, so Jack just changed the rollers. Um, I personally just went out, and I ran 11.9. I think that's what it was. Um, Jack's out right now. This dude's probably going to run, like, a flat 10 or something, but... I weigh like 200, he weighs like 170, it's like a 30 pound difference, so we'll see when he gets back. Here he is. What's the big final number? Oh man. A 10-2. Wow, I don't know if you know how to ride a scooter better than me or something. I don't know. But you're running some good numbers. That's not bad, right? I'm not complaining, dude, I'm stoked on Almost it. Almost got you in the nines. And let's be honest, all we did was ro or, um, rollers. rollers, that's, that's it. it. Yeah. And I mean, we took the air box off, but like just disconnected it. But other yeah. than that, this even, thing is bone stock. Even you saw like a one second drop. Yeah, no, exactly. Just, you know, total one second drop. That's, uh -huh. That was the goal. What, what you, what'd you run? A 12? I, I ran a 12.9 originally, and I just ran an 11.9. No, 9. no it was 12.9.9, and then... Your last run was 11.7. 11 11.7. .7. So, so, so a little more than a second, which isn't bad. That's what I guarantee. From completely just changing rollers, and that's it. That's it. That's not bad at all. On, so to, I, the, on to the next mod. Which is a CDI box, right? Yeah. 
and after that we CVI can box, start messing with what? Intake, exhaust. Okay. So I want to see nines, and then I'll be happy with stock. And then, and then we'll, we should swap it out, right? Then we'll swap it. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's it for the old girl. She's gonna go back into the shop. Thank you so much, Jack. If you guys want to see a bunch of scooter content, go over to his channel. He from he went from four to two seconds on that, which is absolutely insane. Yeah. So two seconds, zero to thirty on that. I want to see. I want to see seventy miles per hour. That's seventy. My goal, yeah. What's it going right now? Right now it did like sixty-five. <laughs> so if I can get that one to seventy, if you guys haven't seen my other scooter, that thing's a beast. That, that thing thing's does, terrifying. That thing does like ninety. <laughs> That's the drag scooter. That's the. Have one, you ever taken it to second. the drag strip? Yeah, but I, I I didn't run like an official time. But oh, I've okay. boxed it before. Yeah. It's it's fast. It's fast, <laughs> and it's got some nitrous just in case it ain't fast enough. Which is honestly ridiculous. I'd like to nitrous this one day. You know what's coming back soon? What's that? Your scooter. Ooh. It's blown up. I like that. But your scooter's coming back. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. Let's do it. Hell yeah. All right. Well, guys, I'm about to go grocery shop with Courtney. I guess I'll just pick it up there if you want to see that. Well. Wow back at home. I didn't film at the grocery store because I doubt you guys wanted to see that. But I just can't wait to Wednesday, man. I am so excited for Wednesday. My new turbo comes in for the Roadster. We can talk about the wrap job after that. I just want the car running and yes, we're wrapping the Roadster. It's not going to be like permanent by any means. I got it for the G and we're going to be selling the G so I just don't want the wrap to go to waste. But anyways guys, Wednesday is going to be a banger. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more. And I will see you tomorrow with pool content because we need to get that pool done. I was supposed to do it today. We got caught up with scooter stuff, but tomorrow we're gonna get that thing done, don't worry.